Hey there once again everyone, it's me, um, Lord Lamo, playing as Steven Stills in this very dark and terrifying place, but let's run because it's now raining blood on us, because, you know, that's what happens. Blood rain. Good movie, pre good game, pretty much made into a weird, terrible movie by Uwe Boll. Essentially just a vampire porn. Hey, it's the Medusa Heads from Castlevania, what are you guys doing here? You moonlight? Oh god, take that. Explode into a shower of blood. Hey there, man. Let's talk about that record de- Oh, for Christ's sake. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. You're scrawny as hell again. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the power of love sword right here. Oh, yeah. Don't lose. And I'm going to stab the hell out of you if you don't hurry up and give me a record deal. Because what are you going to do? Are you Are going to scrawny at me? Oh, by the way, I had do not lose the power of love sword. This uh, this fight becomes annoyingly hellish without the power of love sword. Don't lose it. That is my one piece of advice to you people about this fight. Don't lose the power of love sword. Not so much for this part. This part's pretty easy. I'm just terrible, as I say. The second part of the fight, you definitely need the power of love sword. Oh, for Christ's sake. See, that part's easy, but now you have to fight Gideon, friggin' Graves, giant, mega, super death form. See, he'll do that, and he'll knock away part of the thing, and if you're unlucky, you will drop the sword down the newly created hole, which, just trust me, I've done it so many times I've lost count. It's just terribly unlucky, so just try not to do it. That's my one bit of advice to you. See, oh, see, I've lost the sword. I fucking, I knew that was gonna happen. I said, don't lose the sword, and I lost the sword. Now I have to do the fight like this. I'm not kidding. This is the only other way to do the fight without that sword. Also, be careful with this double slam down attack because that too is unblockable. In fact, I'm, I'm considering just restarting this entire fight. This entire level because I've lost that sword. That's how annoying this boss is about it. See, that's unblockable too. And I've not even damaged him, have I? Fucking hell. Luck is bad tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Luck is bloody terrible tonight. Not being annoying, this isn't even the final stage of this boss. We aren't even quite there yet, ladies and gents. Again, I fall for it. Fucking Christ, I hate my life sometimes. See, that's that, that's why I hate this boss so much. You lose that sword, you're done. No, no more bits of platform can be knocked away, but look at the amount of space I have to work with and dodge him now. In every knock over take. I get that you're supposed to be nigh undefeatable, but good lord, man. Some sympathy for the terrible gamers like myself. Who am I kidding? I don't need love. I've got the onitanium fists. And I didn't get hit as hard again. Oh. Come on, regenerate! Oh, come on! Oh, no! It's easy with Kim Pine, because she's the only character other than Negative Scott with a ranged attack. With her, you can just use her down triangle attack and finish it, but with everyone else, it's hell. Oh, and 
got your range attacks as well, which really don't know that necessary considering what lot of space you have to work with. Ah! Fuck you. Okay, I, I hate to do this, I'm restarting the fucking level. Just that, this fight is honestly hell without that sword. Just restarting the subspace highway. I, I apologize because I'm like an annoying teenager, but Jesus Christ. I actually feel pretty sad now that you've seen how horribly pathetic I am. But don't worry, I still have one life and my very, very, very low amounts of health, which have now been made even less because I don't get a regeneration in it. Good lord. Good god, I'm not this bad at this game, am I? Christ. Just as I say, you lose that sword. You saw what happened to me. That was that's four minutes of me getting dominated by the giant guy. <laughs> I don't even have to try and look bad now. What I do find quite cool about this boss fight is the whenever these things attack you, they attack you in the order of the boyfriends. Like that one up there is gonna attack next because he's boyfriend number three. Now it'll be the girl at the back is attacking next, then the two twins down the front. Seriously, knives can't do anything? Why don't you do something? Oh, crap it. Oh, come on, pick it up, pick it up! Oh, no! No, I suck at this fucking game! What even happened there? Sword and all, sitting around friggin' here. I still can't beat me. Come on! Whew. After this portion of the boss I have no trouble, it's just this one part that will end me. Up, 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 come on. Come on, die, damn it, die! Pick up the sword! This is me getting grumpy. I don't get grumpy games. I'm a Scotsman. I get grumpy at the world. There! Finally! Magic! Now we never use this sword ever again. That's it. Now the rest of the game is easy bloody pickings. I mean, that's the hardest part of the Fleming game. <laughs> and we're still not done. Now we have to go through Gideon's Robot Laboratory. And what is essentially a massive homage to, well, Mega Man. You'll see why when we reach the end of it. Oops, slow down. Okay, 
know what you want to do is get by this door and just keep hammering square. That way by the time this thing comes out, you've already got one of the ropes. I'm not robo friendly, I don't like robots. They're terrible bounds. They always try to enslave humanity, so what the hell? Money, money, oh, money, 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 money. Listen to me, I'm happy again because I'm going to fight Giant Gideon. God, I hate that one boss. That's the one part I hate about this game, that one friggin' boss. But if you want to make a TV tropes about Lord LMAO, just make sure that where it says that one boss, right, Gideon Graves form to Scott Pilgrim vs. the world. That way the world can know how terrible I am at this one game. Like, someone make a TV trope. No, don't make a TV trope crazy about me. You're probably dealing with swear words and pictures of naked people. Die! Come on, Reg. We're gonna go Bioshock on this bitch. <coughs> ah, I love the music for this game. It's pretty pretty picture. I am Steven Stills. I hit things with my muscly arm because I'm Steven Stills. Flying robot mouses. <laughs> Die. I'm very, very, very low on health, so I'm hoping I don't die. Oh yeah, I forgot XX is on the top Oh, Jesus. Roly poly. Roly poly. Roly poly. Roly poly punch. Urgh. I like doing these little hamsters riding around the nose. Because that's how I think of things. Because I am odd. Oh, I'm so pretty close to death. It's annoying me now. Gideon's growing his evil ex-girlfriends, because let's face it, why not? And there we go, that's him dead. 